Hi, today we're going to take a closer look at the Haltech data logging. Thanks again to Adam for the suggestion. We're going to be using this R34 Skyline for our practical example. We offer several different methods of data logging. Onboard, which logs data to the memory on the ECU. Laptop, which saves data to your laptop via the USB communications cable. And logging through the ECU's CAN data through our Racepack logging dash. We'll be focusing on ECU and laptop logging. The Platinum range of ECUs have 512 kilobytes of onboard memory, which will log from a few minutes to a few hours, depending on how many channels and at what frequency you're logging. The onboard logging can be set up to start logging off any of the ECU channels and at any value. For example, we can set up the logging to turn on when the manifold pressure is higher than 20 psi. This way, you will be able to log only the data you need. Alternatively, we could set up the onboard logging to start and stop off a switch wired to a spare input. When it is convenient to have a laptop in the car, the laptop logging function will allow you to log all the channels that are set up in your ECU manager software to view. First, we'll set up the display screens to display all the channels you'd like to log. If you'd like to log every channel, open a list display, select channel, and choose all of them. Next, go to the Data Manager tab, then click on the red record button. F6 is a shortcut key. Now we were logging all the channels. Press the stop button or F6 to stop the logging. There are two ways to display the recorded data through the data viewer software or in replay mode through the ECU manager software. Go to the data manager tab and click on playback. Notice the ECU status bar goes green. We can now scroll back and forward along the data and the tuning pages will replay the data. You can use the T for trace function and make adjustments to the cells that require tuning. To exit playback mode, go to data manager close playback. You can also go to options, export to data log viewer. This will send the log data to the data log viewer software which is also found on your Haltech CD. Give the data a file name and we can go through the data in more detail. You can add a total of four trace views. You can add several channels to each trace view. Also add more trace display pages to set your data out.
if it's not convenient to have a laptop in the car and you would like to use ECU logging, go to Data Manager, Platinum Sport 2000, or in this case, R34 GTT, and go to Options, Setup. Click the Add Remove button to add up to 10 channels of onboard data logging. Remember to set the sample rate for each channel. Setting the sample rate for slower reacting sensors like coolant temp will make the most of your logging memory. Now enable the channel activation and choose a channel to start the onboard logging. In this example, where you're going to use RPM, Now the ECU will show a red recording symbol when the enabling condition is met. access the data, go to Data Manager, Sport 2000 or in this case R34 GTT and choose either Playback or Export to the Data Log Viewer. That's all we've got time for today. Thanks for watching and as always, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. See you next time.